Hi, may I please get a grande cold brew with two pumps of white mocha and the sweet cream foam, please? Thank you. Yes. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another video. Lala here. I'm very crappy today. Um, my period is approaching. I tested negative on a pregnancy test, which also means my period is coming, and that makes me even more crabby. But I, on the way here, um, I had like a meltdown this morning with Taylor, and he's just kind of the best about that stuff. But um, I'm so grateful for this beautiful weather. It's like 60 degrees already, and I'm like just going to get outside today. I'm going to walk the dogs. I'm going to clean up the yard for the new um, owners of our house. We close on that tomorrow. So there's like a lot of really good stuff happening. I practiced a gratitude meditation on the way over here. I'm headed to our new house. Um, and I am meeting with our designer there. So I don't know if I've really said what's going on. This amazing designer in the city has asked if I wanted to be a part of her um, influencer program, which is so amazing. I'm so grateful. Um, I'm not like launching any of that today on this vlog, but I am just gonna like walk through the house with her and show her kind of like my vision and what's already done and what we already own and like things that we have to work with. Um, so that'll be fun and I'll vlog a little bit of that but um, I'm excited to show her our new space. Hi. Hi, Thank you. you no, I'm okay. Thank you. So I'm headed to the house right now. I have like the most annoying one day in work projects I have to get done right now. It's like literally input output, like data exporting. And sorry if you don't care about that, but that is like my life right now with work. But it's just over this week where I'm like crabby and hormonal and it's just not it. But honestly, work is work. And sometimes I enjoy mundane projects that I don't have to like write or think about a whole lot strategy wise like I like breaks from that but anyway going to our house I know that's gonna make me feel better this sunshine is amazing I'm gonna take the dogs for a long walk after work and like I said clean up the yard and like maybe have a little fire and grill for dinner because I'm just like very down and out today I did schedule um, so I said if we were not pregnant by April which is April 10th today, I would um, schedule a like fertility consultation with my OBGYN and I'm doing that. So that feels like good to get that scheduled, but I'm just like so sad we have not gotten pregnant yet. Um, this fertility grind is like no joke, you guys. It's, it's like, I feel like it's hard for Taylor to understand too because he thinks like my period just comes around and I'm just sad when my period comes and it's like I'm literally thinking about it probably every three thoughts I have is like considering if what I'm doing is good for my fertility like is it improving my egg quality if I got pregnant this month I'm due December 18th like it's it's just like kind of all-consuming and you just have days where you're just really down about it and today is one of those days usually I'm not so um, emotional so controlling over it but today I'm I just thought I felt a little bit of nausea and I was like oh my god but I told myself if my boobs are not sore I'm probably not pregnant and I because I when I was pregnant last time my boobs were so sore it's just like every little thing you overanalyze and you think about so this is not gonna be a fertility focused vlog but I am just like dealing with that today and you know me I'm all about transparency so I'm already feeling better talking about it. I'm feeling better being in our new area of living, of life. I'm feeling better driving in the sun. And I'm really grateful for all the things that are going well for us. It's okay to be down about things like that, so. So again, getting to the house, doing like a walkthrough with the designer. Um, we're gonna do this in like rollout phases, like main level master and uh, main level completely and then master done in phase one and then two and three will be like basement and everything. But we have to do that in layers because I just don't have unlimited funds to furnish the whole house right away. We probably will not touch our basement for like at least, at least a year because we're gonna do our landscaping balls to the walls right away so we can use that this summer, but. Living in limbo. Okay guys, we are two weeks away. Um, Jennifer just swung through, who is the lead designer. 
Um, my pendants didn't come in time, so they put these up temporarily. We just met with the lead designer here. Um, her name's Jennifer. She's unbelievable. I'm so excited. She has all these amazing <laughs> ideas, and I just wish I could do them all. But excited to show everybody what she comes up with. We're, we're meeting on Friday to talk through um, furniture options and what she's laying out here in this house. So like in here, obviously main living and like that chandelier in Taylor's office is coming down. But I'm thinking we do like a three seater love seat sofa and then two swivel chairs because I really want to be able to look outside. Um, like we'll eventually have a pool and everything. So I really want to be able to like drink my coffee here and open these doors up and just have it be a little bit more of like the outdoor living situation but and then like maybe a chair or like a wall piano or something right there and that's kind of what i'm thinking in here and jennifer kind of had the same vision as me so that's good we're talking like drape wall we're talking what we're going to do in the dining room yeah these are railings for the stairs but we're gonna do like a full on video out here and i think up to the lip of the doors because i don't want any stairs so, we're meeting with the landscaper on Wednesday. But I'm so excited. This is actually the landscaper calling me right now. Hold on. This is Courtney. Hi, Charles. How are you? The staircase is done, which is stunning. I actually I love it. It's very clean and modern and crisp. Um, I'm going to go show you guys the in the room. Little videos. So you guys, my lights from Serena and Lily came broken. This is the fourth one, I think, or was it Lily and Georgia? I don't remember. But these are not going to be here and I'm really frustrated because they took like um, two months to come. So really bummed about that. These are gonna be there temporarily. Thank goodness my builder had some like spare. The fridge is gonna be paneled and I'm literally obsessed with the fridge. Hold on. Like tell me why I'm obsessed with this fridge. It reminds me of when I worked in a restaurant. It's like so industrial, I love it. <laughs> Okay guys, I'm so excited. Jennifer's literally so amazing. I kind of already said it, but she has some unbelievable ideas and I'm so stoked we're working with her because I need a professional's help. Like I am really good, I think, at cultivating like a vibe and a vision and like in statement pieces and stuff, but I executing on like the actual sizes and in a new space, she's changing like like I, there's just some things that make the cook, the house so cookie cutter that I don't love, like the, like the hardware in the kitchen, and I don't love. Like I said, we got in there sort of late, so I just didn't get to customize it myself, which is totally fine. Like I think that they picked, they picked really good, safe fixtures and finishes, and I can work with them, but it's just not what I would have picked. I'm like, bye house, I love you. I'm like, it's literally hot out, you guys. I'm. <gasps> So I'm so excited to be working with Jennifer. I'm so honored she like wants me to be a part of her influencer program. And she's like just a really well experienced, very, very, um, she just, I feel like she just really understands what I want and I'm super excited about that. So she's gonna pitch everything to us on Friday, which is an entire week, which I'm so sad. But that is gonna be, um, I'm gonna definitely vlog like that whole experience. So stay tuned for that. Okay, it is only been like 40 minutes, so I'm heading home, I'm gonna finish the work day, and then I'm gonna bring the dogs for a walk. I think I'm feeling much better. Like, I'm glad I got out of the house, and I'm glad it's so nice out. And I'm just gonna spoil my doggies after I get these mundane work days done. Okay, it is 5.19. We just got to the dog park. Yeah, yeah. They're gonna be insane because they have not been to the dog park in all winter. We're here. There's a skyline. Okay, come on.
You ready? You be nice. Behave. Do you hear me? Don't be a bully. Zeus, behave. Don't be a bully. Come on. <laughs> so nice out. King of the park right there. Hello, Goob. How you doing? Are you so happy? Good morning, beautiful people. It is Tuesday. I'm in much better spirits this morning. I know I've been wearing this sweatshirt like every day. And there's some context to that. One, I love this sweatshirt. I'm not gonna lie. Like, it's giving me like high school homecoming vibes. It's not great quality, but really cozy. And I, it's giving me like homecoming vibes in high school when you'd like buy a bunch of stuff at Walmart. And um, it's like not super hot either. I just, I really like it. I'm gonna buy more of her merch. But um, this is Dairy Boy by Paige Lorenz, if you didn't know. But, and the second thing is that our house like when I staged everything with Taylor, which was two weeks ago now, um, I like got rid of so much stuff. So our house like looked really clean and aesthetic and so it looked really nice for photos and video and everything to get it listed. So I'm not bringing any of that back really until we move in two weeks. So it's like I'm, my everyday clothes are so limited. My shoes are so limited, you guys. I'm literally wearing Taylor's Uggs right now to go to Chuck and Don's and to go to Starbucks. Um, it's like 7.15 and it's beautiful. I'm like literally ADHD this morning, but it's like beautiful out. My allergies are here, which is a good thing. That means spring is here. Spring has sprung. But anyway, so I have like no clothes and I have no shoes and we close, we pre-sign on Washburn today and we close on Friday. So Taylor and I are going to the title company after work today, or I think maybe at lunch, I don't remember, but, um, and then we sell our house, which is so wild. We have loved our home in the city. We, it has been very, very good to us. A lot of good stuff has happened there and a lot of really good memories, but really grateful for today and all of these changes. Yesterday, my coffee was way too sweet. I got two pumps of white mocha in a grande, which I do not need to do. I don't know why I screwed that up. I'm gonna do two pumps in a venti today, but. That's the other thing, I'm so excited to move and just like be able to like live in our house. I feel like all of our shit is everywhere. We've got stuff at the in-laws, we've got stuff at the cabin, I've got stuff in my car still, and um, they don't have their final walkthrough until the end of this week, so when they close, so I don't wanna just like mess everything up before they have their walkthrough, so. Anyway, I am major rambling, but happy Tuesday. It's bright and early. Every single person is out in Minneapolis and Edina with their dog right now, um, making me, Reminding me that I need to bring Zeus and Theo for a walk today, but um, My mom and I are headed up north tomorrow night after work, which is Wednesday We have a meeting with the landscapers tomorrow morning before work Which will be bright and early, but I'm so excited for that meeting because I have so many things I want done in our yard, so Long for the ride I literally am in like Taylor's shoes 10 year old sweatpants, this sweatshirt for the 300th time this month, and a Bottega bag. Like, I really gotta get my shit together. <laughs> Okay, you guys are at the cabin. I am drip sweating because it's like 72 degrees here and the AC is not on. I just carried all of these, there's even more in the garage, in from the garage because I need to, because I need to unbox them all. So I'm just gonna do that. It's a big Pottery Barn order. Just a couple mundane items that my mom asked me to order for the house and I'm gonna start opening them. Sprocket, 
We are taking a little break from unpacking and we are going to our harbor. frozen. You guys know what apps to order. I already sent them. <laughs> That's plenty of favorites. Look at the golden hour in here right now. It's so beautiful. We are getting this house in order. Right, babies. See how is he driving on there? He's slushing through. Yeah, I mean that's probably not good. What is he doing? Trying to get stuck. Or are you, did you not eat? Sorry. Where are we going to go play? Up here? Theo. You're so cute. I think we have to go play upstairs, don't we? See how cute this stuff is, you guys? And the green matches Mavi's book. I know. Abner. <laughs> Oh, this is nice. I want this thing. What a view we've got here, friends. Yeah, yep. Are you using my stuff for your vlog? <laughs> I am. I really like this thing. What is it, Abner? It's the sand. Though this looks wrong, it's like 70 degrees out there. <laughs> She's not cold. <laughs> Midwest thing. That is so that? cute. Right, bird. Look at her. Do you see that? Oh, that's so cute. You want Auntie Coco? Okay. Yeah, it's almost open. Yeah. Just probably like 14 more days. Can you count that high? You can't. Okay. 14. Who is Pete? Hey, Yeah. Hey. Zeus? Oh, strategic, Dad. I'm in last place. Okay, guys, it is Wednesday night. I'm gonna vlog again tomorrow, so. Um, we'll see when this gets posted, but we will see you in the morning. It feels really good to be up north with Cami, especially, but, and just spending good quality family time. Lots of Mario Kart and lots of just getting organized. We're like going crazy on the house and getting everything situated for summer. So we're having like, we're having like professional cleaners. Stanley steamers are coming. We have to do our walkthrough with the builders cause like every door handle needs to be tightened, the lights need to be fixed. It's essentially like a warranty walkthrough, so we have to schedule that, and we're getting all that done here, so. And we're also moving at home. So madness, but sweet dreams. Young Numbro High School Kids. Yum, yum. Well, I'm gonna get some work done if you want to join me. I plugged your computer in. I think that is your charger. Graham. Hello. Look at him. That's my guy. Look at him, Kim. Are you are you protecting that bone? <laughs> Look at him in the screen right now. Oh my. And the other the angel cleaner. guy. Where's, where's Kenny Cuz? Oh my, she's outside. Oh my. <laughs> are you guys helping me work? Uh, are you helping me work? Oh, 
Okay, hi you guys, it's Thursday at 1.22. I am like still working. I have not sat up since like eight o'clock and just have been working this whole time, but I just got a really fun email from our lead architect for our new house. And they sent us the first rendering and like the first version one of what they're gonna do to our yard, which is so exciting. So this is like the very first rendering. We changed the driveway to being a horseshoe roundabout driveway instead of just an L, which is what it was gonna be. Here's like the deck that we're gonna build this spring, bonfire pits down here that they did not add, and potential pool and potential sport court slash like playground area, which this was literally gonna be like phase 200, but they wanted to build all of the phases into the first initial plan. And then we'd have a fire pit down here. So this is like wild to see, so exciting, and it's gonna take a long time, but so fun. We met with them on site uh, two days ago and I'm just so excited to work with them and see what they do with our yard. You guys, we, oh! yeah! oh! Hi you guys, happy Friday. I am so happy it's Friday, it's 82 degrees. I am at Davis Interiors and I didn't think I would do it in this vlog, but I am. Jennifer is pitching our initial um, design proposal and I'm so excited. I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what it's like in there. Um, kind of give a little sneak peek into what this process has been like with her. I will be sharing a lot more about um, Davis Interiors and what it's been like to work with them, but this is just like the initial proposal of what she wants to do with our main floor and our master bedroom. So cannot wait and happy Friday, my word. I'm so happy it's the weekend and I cannot believe it's 82 degrees out. I literally don't have anything to wear. I don't have anything to wear anyway because as I've said in this vlog, I staged all of our stuff and all of our stuff is in storage between my in-laws and the cabin. But now it's like summer and I don't have anything to wear. So that's fun. <laughs> Okay, that was literally the most fun thing ever. I love what they've selected. I think that I agreed on like 95% of things. I just added a little bit more. This is kind of a juxtaposition, but vibrance and elegance. So she's gonna get back to me with some updated furniture pieces and um, I cannot wait. This process is so fun. Davis Interiors will work with you in phases and they, you can also just pay them to like a service fee to design things and they source furniture at the lowest cost. They will match the lowest cost of, this is a dead end. They will match the lowest retail price that you can find online. So I just really trust them and it feels so good to have an experienced designer working on kind of like our forever home. So I'm so excited. Um, I showed you it was all very, very neutral and I, I kind of went for earth tones and very like spa zen vibes in our new house. So she literally nailed it and I'm so excited to see it come to life. But like I was saying earlier, so they will work with you in phases. Like, like I said, I can't furnish the whole house right now. I'm really doing it room by room, um, but like main level first and also master. And then um, we will just like keep going on the house when the funds are there. So that experience as a customer was just so fun. I would do that all day long if I could. Mm. Sometimes I'm like, you're in the wrong field, la, you're in the wrong field. But anyway, you guys, that was so fun. It's coming up so soon. We move in 10 days, which is wild. It is 85 degrees and it's a Friday. Gonna celebrate Molly's birthday tomorrow and tonight, I think. And um, yeah, have a fun weekend. So thank you for watching. I will be back next week.